كل دلالة في النهار أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى في كتابه المجيد يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذنوا دي الإسلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسقوا إلا ذكر الله وزروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون فإذا قضيت الصلاة فإذا قضيت الصلاة فانتشروا في الأرض فابتغوا من فضل الله واذكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون وإذا رأوا تجارة أو لحوة ننقدوا عليها وتركوك قائما قل إن الله خير من اللحوة من التجارة والله خير رحيم صدق الله تعالى صدق الله علي العظيم وطفعني وإياكم بآيات وذكر الحكيم إنه تعالى جواد كريم ملك بجل روح الرحيم Dear brothers and sisters and children in Islam Inshallah in my limited time in this khutbah I will focus one of the story of the Prophet Yusuf is a very fascinating story and it is one of the story of the Quran which came in complete form in one surah, Surah Yusuf. But though it looks like a story but within that story it has a deep lessons. As we know that the Quran is not a book of story. Whenever Quran talk about the Prophet, whenever the Quran about anything within that thing, within that zikr, you will find a deep meaning. You will find a message for the people who have Iman and for the people who want to establish taqwa. First of all, this surah, why this surah came, why was it is it, Nazul? As you know, the Prophet ﷺ was also facing adversaries and the Mushrikeen, Kuffar and the Jews was asking different questions just to prove that he is and he was not a true prophet, like an imitator. All this trial Prophet ﷺ himself faced and he, Alhamdulillah, by the help of Allah, by the Wahi, answered all those allegations. So the, so the Kuffar, the Mushrikeen and the Bani Israel ask different questions. Sometimes they ask questions about rule. Some, sometimes they ask questions about different prophets. And one of the questions they ask, how did Bani Israel, how did the children of Ibrahim, children of Yahoo, migrated uh, from Syria to Egypt? And their expectation was that the prophet would not be able to tell because he did not tell. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed that surah. Another scholar gave the reasons that at that time when this surah came, when the Prophet ﷺ migrated to Medina and he was facing a lot of adversaries. And this surah helped him in relieve some of this pain and adversaries. And though we will not go the whole part of the surah, but I will focus on few only ayat because those ayat if we analyze has a deep meaning and a deep message for us this is qala yusuf la abi abti inni ra'aytu ahada ashra kawkabun wa shams wal qamar wa ra'aytum li sajidi yusuf alayhi salam saw a dream and this is one of the 
miracle of 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 different prophets whoever allah subhanahu wa taala sent prophet and gave him miracles and those miracles were related to that time yahub alayhi salam had this miracle that he interpreted the dream and so yusuf alayhi salam as we know that uh, yusuf alayhi salam has brothers and they did not like him while yaqub alayhi salam loved uh, yusuf alayhi salam more than he, uh, his other children and probably because he knew that this son would go in so many trials and also he knew he is a prophet he is the only prophet you will find in quran who was raised from the prophet ibrahim alayhi salam raised ishmael and isa and yaqub alayhi salam who himself was a prophet raised yusuf alayhi salam so 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 remember this thing yusuf alayhi salam himself is a prophet and raised by another prophet and he he is a children of ibrahim alayhi salam who himself has a very pious lineage so we will not think about there should be or there would be any shortcomings in the teachings in the um, educations in the training in the raising of the prophet yusuf alayhi salam so the so, so the first thing we 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 saw in the quran that the yusuf alayhi salam saw a dream and in the dream he saw that 11 stars sun and the moon was prostrating him he asked his father yaqub alayhi salam and yaqub alayhi salam interpreted the meaning but told him not to tell about this dream this is the first time when allah subhanahu wa taala is teaching us yeah. jealousy envious and because of envious reasons people plot different things to harm others <coughs> so things continued in the quran as we know that the brothers of the yusuf alayhi salam was very jealous and wanted his father to favor him <coughs> so they made a plot and the plot was to take him out in some picnic area in the jungle where if we will put him in somewhere so that he will be one less so that yaqub alayhi salam would favor um, the um, will favor other children more or at least they they felt like and that's out of jealousy not not for any reason so they asked the prophet uh, yaqub alayhi salam and do prophet yaqub imagine that he knew the dream and he was the himself prophet he gave the permission to take him and we know that story that then uh, uh, yusuf alayhi salam was put in the well and we don't know to go the story about it how they make the plan but they found this is a good thing is a young boy we put him in the well and somebody will come probably pick him up sell him and he would become a slave and our problems are solved so this is one of the things that came out is jealousy that the quran is saying that if you have something you don't need to show off okay so this is something so then what happened then when when the yaqub alayhi salam was approached by the ch- children but the brothers he came and uh, the children brought a shirt of yaqub alayhi salam stained in blood blood from the animals and showed him say <coughs> that and made the story that we were playing and he we left him behind to look after the our stuff and some probably bear or animal came and killed him and here is the shirt here this is the witness see he died immediately yaqub alayhi salam saw the shirt it was not tear 
and he smelled the blood. He knew, he knew that his children were lying. But what, what did Yahu Lehram choose? Wajau ala kamisihi bidamin kazibin kala bal sawwala lakum anfosakum amran fa sabr jamilun. The Prophet choose to do sabr. This is the second very important message in our life. We come across problems. And often Muslims say, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing to us what wrong we have done? We offer prayer. We don't even drink alcohol. And these people are doing all wrong things. Do not even call you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not call you God. And looks like we are suffering. Here, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing a prophet, raised prophet, born prophet, and the children of, of the rising going through trials. And what did he choose? I will choose sabr. So the second message is life will have trials. Life will have shortcomings. Life is a combination of sabr and sugar. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives something, it should. If take from us, it's sub. There is nothing else in the life of us. Either sub, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing sub, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing sugar. And the most important part of, of, of Yaqub al Islam is if, if we have a person, suppose a loved one died, we have <coughs> the father died brother died, sister died. There is a healing process. And that healing pro process will take care of. Slowly, a slowly person start forgetting, start uh, participating in activities. And after a time, he becomes normal. What if something is not done, is incomplete? And that's what happening here. Yaqub al-Islam knew my son is not dead. My Yaqub Islam knew myself is in somewhere a small child alone struggling. So he could not just say, okay, inna lillahi wa inna lahi And it's over with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give another child. His condition was my son is going through trials, problems, on and on and on. And what he could do? Nothing more than son. Imagine a person totally innocent and the father knew he's innocent and father knew he's not even died. But what, what he's supposed to do? That the Quran said, uh, sabr. Sab is, is the best way that if, if Yaqub and Islam is true. Now, we know the story of Yusuf al Islam that he continued and to be concise he was bought uh, by a rich man and he moved to Egypt and now he was very handsome person or beautiful whatever you like to use the word <coughs> and the wife of Aziz the person was attracted with him this is the second trial and this second trial is mentioned so beautifully in Quran that people need to learn what the Quran in one ayat, in two ayat explain the whole human psychology and how we prevent ourselves. <laughs> What she did, she closed the door and asked Yusuf which the word they use, 
which the scholar says is an Aramaic word inviting towards her. Initially, Yusuf al Islam refused when what he used the word Azallahu in Rabbi Asanum. That number one, he knew that this is the somebody who is providing all the provisions, the wife of, of my literally a master, and asking for such a sin. So initially, Yusuf al Islam tried to resist. And Quran did not know how long it continued. But the next ayat of the Quran gave a really deep meaning. Walakat Hammad Bihi Wahamma Biha. At this point, Yusuf al Islam looks like gave up. This is, is a very, very important message. That a prophet, born a prophet, raised by a prophet, lineage of Ibrahim al Islam and the Quran say that he started feelings toward her and he was going to lose his resistance Lola Anraya Burhana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala interfered and Yaqub al Islam came and there was the say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran did not mention what exactly was the Burhan, what exactly <coughs> was the witness. But the scholars say that Yaqub al Islam, Yusuf al Islam, saw Yaqub al Islam, came and, and, and told him by gesture, don't do it. And that's a very important message of the Quran. That whenever, if you see the word, Whenever the word of Faisha comes in Quran, say don't go close. Didn't say don't do it. Why? Once you go close, you lose control. And if somebody say, I have raised my children in such a way, my children will not do, believe me, you cannot be a better than Yusuf. You cannot have a father better, better than Yaqub al -Islam. You cannot have a lineage better than Ibrahim al -Islam. And the Quran says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped by showing him Quran. This is extremely important. That's why we say we need Islamic environment. We need to prevent ourselves. We need Islamic schools, Islamic education where our children develop their thinking, their mind, their activity in an Islamic environment. Because what happened is, things which started early in life becomes the nature. If you tell children in America who are raised in public schools or in the environment, when they are mature, that your father will bring a wife, arrange marriage, what are you talking about? I'm an animal? And the same question you ask in a Muslim world, though there are not many Muslim words, but still whatever they have the environment, still you will find they agree. Because they are raised in an environment. It's very important because it's become the nature. If a person is living the whole life in an environment where relationship is okay, we are, your goal is to become a doctor. Your goal is to become an engineer. Your goal is whether you make six-figure salary or you make seven-figure salary. A successful person is the one who make more money, then you can develop somebody, but not a good Islam. So this is an extremely important ayat of the Quran, which mentioned that in order to prevent Yusuf al Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had to interfere by means of Burhan. And that put us a very important learning point. If we ourselves think that we are muttaqeen, it's just a matter of a time. If we want to be muttaqeen, we have to create environment, company of muttaqeen. Now the story continued, and I understand uh, uh, we don't go uh, very long, uh, but I would 
say one more ayat of the Quran Falamma ra'a qameesahu qad min da dubirin qala innahum min kaidi kunna in kaidi kunna azim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prove the innocence of of Yusuf al-Islam and his cousin asked if Yusuf al-Islam made any attempt because the allegation went to him then the shirt would be teared uh, from front and they found the shirt was teared from the back and, but in that ayat also mentioned innahum min kaide kunna inna kaide kunna azim the woman's tricks and trials are azim means great or means extremely harsh this is also another thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not put us in a trial with a woman this is one of the things which Muslim fails generally fails and the only way to prevent is by having a good environment the banazul الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الأمين أما بعد فيا معشر المسلمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد بأداد من صلى وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد بأداد من قاد وقام اللهم صل على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى صاحب الصحبة والتابعين وعلى إبادك الصالحين اللهم أيد الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم منصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وجعلنا منهم وأقزل من قزل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجلنا منهم اللهم آرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباع وآرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتماع اجتناب اللهم ثبتنا على الإسلام اللهم نور القلوب بنور الإيمان اللهم اغفر لي اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء الأحياء ومنهم ولم عباد الله رحمة الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء القرب وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون أشكر الله يشكركم وادعوا يستجيب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى وآله وآله وآزه وآجله وآتمه وآحمه بعد عقيمة الصلاة Uh, my brother and sister, especially children, this is a special request for you. Please make dua for those who are sick and who pass away over here and uh, in other countries, every place. May Allah forgive all our brothers and sisters who passed away and Allah give Shifa who are sick. This is a special request for those who suffer with a cancer over here and overseas too. The time between Akama and Salat is a very precious time. Duas are accepted. Please remember all brothers and sisters in every moment, Mominat Muslim Muslimat, in your Duas all the time. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Ayya la salaam, Ayya la salaam, Ayya la balaam, Ayya la balaam. قَدْ قَامَ دِسْوَلَاتِ قَدْ قَامَ دِسْوَلَاتِ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرَ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرَ لَا إِلَهُ إِنَّ اللَّهُ
ثم صفوف يرحمك الله فإن تسوية الصفوف من تمام الصلاة الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين ألف لام لا تلك آيات الكتاب المبين لعلكم تعقلون نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين إذ قال يوسف لأبيه يا أبت إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر رأيتهم لي ساجدين قال يا بني لا تقصص رؤياك قال يا بني لا تقصص رؤياك على إخوتك فيكيدوا لك كيدا إن الشيطان للإنسان عدو مبين وكذلك يجتبيك ربك ويعلمك من تاويل الحديث ويتم نعمته عليك وعلى Oh. 